students today i'll tell you that how can we insert a picture in a document so students uh, we are talking about open office uh, writer so here how can we insert a picture so the first method is we will go to the insert tab and we will select the picture option okay student insert tab and then picture option and we will select picture from the file so here we have to locate a picture where it is so i have kept a picture on desktop so i'll go there and i'll open the desktop part and here i'll just select my picture and it is here so students see now picture is here with us so you know we can uh, you uh, do one thing uh, if you want to resize the picture then you can just uh, resize it by dragging it from the corners okay from the corners you can resize the picture now it is very simple so resizing the picture you can resize the picture from the corners so this is the first thing and students just click on the picture and you are able to see a uh, what here see it is a toolbar which is appearing here and it provides us some option so let us explore them one by one so the first option is see students uh, this is the filter we can apply filters onto a picture so the first is invert see i click it becomes like this then the second is smooth we can make it smooth third is students we can go for this sharpen so it will become little bit sharp then remove noise then it is like this then solidification we can do it will become and we can give the threshold value so here i am decreasing the value see this way it looks if we solidize the picture and then students there are multiple options available for the filters mosaic if you want to do see now it will become mosaic see like this pixels you know so so i am uh, i undo it and i got my picture back and so first option is for the filters we can apply various filters from here second is a default view here we can you know apply make it as a watermark see now it is appearing as a watermark we can make it black and white and we can also make it gray so this is a option of what graphics mode so filter is there graphics is there third is color we can apply color to our picture from here we can also apply the colors and then we can it uh, we can what we can do we can flip it horizontally and we can also flip it vertically so i flipped it horizontally and now i flipped it vertically so again and again doing this so i got my picture back so on the toolbar there are options like filter graphics mode uh, there are the options are available we can make it watermark black and white gray scale then color then transparency also this is an option of transparency so we can increase the transparency of the picture how we can make it transparent by increasing the value then flip horizontal and flip vertical so you need to understand this so this toolbar you need to explore and this i have told you okay student not second thing if you want to insert a picture then it is also possible that you can what you can do is you can directly go to the insert tab go to the pictures option and you can select now scan option so uh, for ex ex scan uh, if you have a scanner at your home then if there is any picture then you will go to the select source option and from here you will select a picture so if there is any picture any scanner you have then from here you can select it got it students from the scan option and the third method is here student see at the uh, extreme right side there is an option of gallery so we can just click on this option gallery so i clicked on this option and uh, it will display us some themes okay then we can click on computer if we need a picture see i clicked on computer now what i will do i will right click on the picture which it has provided uh, and then i can go to insert and then i can click on oh, copy so now i i here what will happen i will be able to get this picture on my on my window okay what you have to do is you have to click on the gallery button then click on the new themes like computers the th new theme is then i go to insert and then i click on copy so here i am able to get my picture see student this so this way i am able to get my picture on the screen so student what was this this was how we get the pictures from different different sources so there are three sources we can get picture from gallery from the insert tab from uh, by going to the file option or from file or insert tab uh, we have to go to the pictures first and picture will display two options from file or from scanner what it is students now let me enlarge it resize it see i am resizing it so if you want to 
you know modify the picture then just click on the picture and then uh, you can modify it by uh, as i have told you by these toolbar option uh, these options which present on the toolbar like uh, filter graphics mode transparency color horizontal flip horizontal and flip vertical now here i'll tell you that how can you crop your picture and how can you delete to delete a picture just right click and go to the cut option you can delete it from here or just click on the picture and press the delete button your picture will be deleted now i'm getting it back by undo option now here i'll tell you that how can you crop a picture so it is very simple to crop a picture students and uh, for that uh, you have to just right click on your picture and go to the uh, picture option right click and go to the picture option a dialog box will appear here you have to select the crop option from the crop option it will display the two method to you first is keep scale and second is keep image size so uh, in both the option keep scale and keep uh, image size you have to give the dimensions like left right top and bottom so after giving these directions what will happen you will be able to crop the picture so from here you can crop your picture okay students now i will show you one method keep image uh, uh, size see i am increasing the size uh, uh, from the top also now so see it is x it is showing you in the screen so what what is going to happen so this way we can crop the picture okay students now moving ahead so i told you that if you want to crop a picture right click on the picture go to the picture option a dialog box will appear and there it will display you the two method keep scale and keep image size and you have to specify the dimensions like left top right and bottom got it student this way we can crop the picture now students uh, i will tell you that how can you know position the text uh, onto the picture so for that uh, you just have to write some text uh, let me uh, put some picture here see uh i'll tell you that how can we fit a picture so let me bring some another picture here like from the insert tab i'll go to the picture option from the file and i'll insert a new picture student here uh picture from the desktop only so picture will come here so students uh, what i can do is uh i will enlarge my picture see i have enlarged my picture so i will start writing about the picture uh, suppose i am writing this is my first picture which i am showing you okay students now see this uh, this is the text which also i have written i will enlarge it now what i can do is as i click on the picture so it has displayed some mess, uh, see at the top uh, it has displayed some options to me i can just wrap it like this wrap off page wrap see it is uh, wrapped between the pages wrap through is this then we can align it left central align right align left align and these are the options and this or the top we can take it to the center we can take it and to the bottom we can take it so these are the options for the you know positioning the image in the text so these are the options so what you have to do is just write your text click on the picture it will display you some options and these are the options like wrap off page wrap and you know students wrap through so these are the options now students this is for the position of the image in the text now i'll tell you that how can you you know uh use a drawing objects and i will make a short video for you for creating a drawing object and i'll tell you that how drawing object work and how you can group those pictures what it is students till then just uh, watch this video very carefully students thank you students